There is now more testimony showing that former President Donald Trump supported the January 6th Capitol riot. On Sunday, ABC News reported that special counsel Jack Smith's team interviewed Dan Scavino, the former Trump White House Deputy Chief of Staff for Communications. Now, the interview came after President Joe Biden had knocked down his claims of executive privilege. Scavino didn't want to testify. He didn't want to, you know, uh, comply with subpoenas. He didn't want to do any of this. And now we know why. The report described key details offered by Scavino, former Trump aide Nick Luna, and others who were close to Trump that day and are now being legally compelled to comply with Smith despite any previous claims of executive privilege. Uh, now, you're not going to be surprised that Scavino has echoed previous claims that Trump had refused to stop the mob despite these uh, aides to the president begging him to do so. The please, please stop the violence. Say something. You got to control the mob. They're out of control. Now, according to what sources Scavino, uh, according to what sources said, Scavino told Smith's team that Trump was quote unquote very angry that day. Now, wasn't angry at what his supporters were doing, but that the election was quote allegedly stolen from him. Now, Scavino also described as very unsettling the understanding that he had of his supporters being, quote, angry on his behalf. That explains why he didn't want the rioters to stop. Makes all the sense in the world. There's more. Scavino also was the only other person who had access to Donald Trump's Twitter account at the time. And so when Trump started tweeting against the former vice president for refusing to not certify the election, uh, staffers went to Scavino and were like, what the hell are you doing? What are, what are you doing tweeting this stuff? This is terrible. Now he responded with, I didn't do it. That wasn't me. That wasn't me. Uh, yes, I have access to Trump's Twitter account. I did not say those things. I did not send those things. That was, that was the big guy. Okay, he was doing this. Now some of Trump's aides went on to explain to Trump that attacking his VP is, quote, not what we need, with Trump responding, but it's true. So, I, I mean, that right there, they're telling him, don't attack your VP. He is, he is in physical danger. He is in the Capitol building. And at this point, you have people that are chanting, hang Mike Pence. Okay, they're not saying hang my pants, okay? Hang Mike Pence. And Trump's like, don't care. But it's true. But it's true. He, 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 didn't, he didn't care enough about election fraud to back me up. <laughs> this is at the same time a White House uh, security official hold reports over police radio that indicated Pence's security believed um, that this was about to get very ugly, according to the House Committee's report. That was the House Committee on the uh, January 6th Capitol riot. Now, on to Nick Luna, who also recalled, according to sources, that Trump didn't care at all that Pence had to be moved to a secure location as a result of Trump's tweets. Here's what he told investigators. Trump showed me he was capable of allowing harm to come to one of his closest allies at the time. Well, that's because his closest ally at the time disagreed with him and wouldn't let him, wouldn't assist with the theft of an election. Look, none of this surprises me. None of this should surprise you. It's just more... You know, uh, it, it just it just backs up what we've already known for quite some time. All right. We know that Trump thought Pence had it coming for not helping him, for not doing what, you know, it, it, again, his aides wanted them to do. And, and of course, Pence, by the way, had, had uh, pushed back on that. Right. And, and I, I said aides, but actually I meant allies, people like Steve Bannon, John Eastman, and the others who were trying to come up with any sort of legal justification they can't they, they could to try to steal the election through fake electors, things like that. So now, furthermore, one, treat, uh, one tweet that Trump's account actually put out, the one that urged the rioters to stay peaceful, well, it turns out that wasn't Trump's at all. Trump couldn't even be bothered to do that. That was Dan Scavino, who had to basically beg Trump to allow him to even put out that message. At some point, he was like, okay, you, you're allowed to tweet that, all right? 
But what Scavino told Smith's team was that Trump was just not interested in that at that moment to put anything out, anything that would stop the rioters from doing what they were doing. Instead, what was Trump focused on? Watching television and taking in the chaotic scenes, Scavino said, according to the sources. You know what I think? I think that he was watching to see whether or not they would be successful, whether or not they would scare enough congressmen uh, and women to basically not certify the election, to then send it back to the states so that their fake electors could take over. He wanted to see, he was waiting to see if he was successful. But after it was clear that it was not going to succeed, well, that's when Donald Trump decided to tell them to go home, to, to go home, to go home in peace after saying how much he loves them, loves them, the, the rioters.